Finally, a revolutionary way to lose weight without starving yourself. I want to thank you for joining us online and for all of the, you that are here live as well. And I want to say congratulations for coming. This is the first step in regaining your health for many of you. And we're going to show you how to get rid of that weight for good, but not only that, to improve every part of your health. My name is Dr. Pat Luce. I am the president of Tri-State Physicians and Physical Therapy Clinic in South Sioux City, Nebraska. And in South Sioux, we have a medical department, a chiropractic department, a physical therapy department, and I supervise the Seven Systems Plan in our office. It is one of the Midwest largest weight loss practices, and we have tremendous results, and I'm gonna share those with you. This is my family. I married my high school sweetheart, and we had four children, adopted four more children, and have 12 grandchildren now. My passions in life are my God, my family, and helping people lose weight and have tremendous health. We got a free gift that for everyone that uh, is watching. Just stick with us till the end and we'll tell you how to get that. Five proven simple weight loss hacks. Now I'm gonna tell you that most weight loss hacks do not work, but there are some that work tremendously. And I put them together in a ebook for you. I'm gonna give you a lot of information. If you take away three things, that's really all I want you to do. So if you're gonna jot some things down, I want you to jot down these three things that uh, will help you really have a grasp on what you need to be working on. So weight problems and health in America. Do we have a problem class? Yes, yes we do. In fact, it's one of the leading causes of our health decline. After age 40, our health starts to take a nosedive, and frequently before that. And we end up spending the last third of our life in this red zone, where we have low energy, we have medications, we have disease, we have weight problems, and it's just not fun. And retirement should be fun. Well, with the seven systems plan, we can get people back to ideal health and ideal weight, so that they not only live longer, but they can enjoy life. I wanna first uh, start sh with showing you some things not to do. Now these are actual weight loss ads from years ago. This is uh, fat banished with sanitized tapeworm eggs. They actually sold those, but it was a little hard to swallow. So they came out with lard be gone, the easy way now with live tapeworm eggs instead of tapeworms. Next, this came out, stay fit and trim by taking amphetamines. Now that actually did work, but they wasted away to a bag of bones. And can you believe this one? In five years, you can have this transformation by reaching for the lucky instead. And don't worry, it's toasted for throat protection. What not to do? Don't do this to get rid of belly fat. That, it's not a fun one. And there's still ads that come out every day. And you've seen them on the internet. 20 pounds in 30 days without changing your diet. That's just not going to work. So let's start with my journey. In school, I loved nutrition. And I got really hooked on weight loss programs and looking at them and helping people with weight loss. So this is me in the early days. And uh, I was having success as an intern in Chicago in the clinic in 1980. And really, I didn't know much then compared to what, what I know now, but I was helping people. And I had a fellow intern come up to me. Now this is not his picture. We did not have cell phones back in that day, but he looked a lot like this. He was overweight, he saw what I was doing, and he said, Dr. Pat, can you help me lose 60 pounds in 90 days? And I said, I think we can do that. And I put him on a plan and held him accountable, and in 90 days, he had a transformation like this. He totally changed, and not just his shape and his physical health, but 
He was more outgoing. He was more happy. Everything improved. <clears throat> that hooked me. I wanted to continue to do this for the rest of my practice. So I coached people one-on-one. -on -one, and then I started coaching groups of people like I'm doing right now. And then I wrote the book, which became an Amazon bestseller. And I put the course online. And now it was influencing people in almost every state in America and seven countries around the world. The next thing that happened was doctors started contacting me and asking me how they could be involved. So I developed a program to certify them to teach the seven systems plan. And now we have doctors in 12 states that are doing the same thing that I'm doing. And we are having amazing results. Cindy, overweight, joint problems, inflammation, and in eight months, this is Cindy. Now in this picture, she couldn't get down on the floor to play with her grandkids because she couldn't get back up. Do you think she's got any problems now? And she's maintained her progress for years now. Mike had diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, obesity, and in 90 days, they were all gone. Diane didn't have any major health problems. She just wanted to look and feel better and she had a tremendous transformation. And this is Jesse's senior high school picture. The next year, after going through the online course, this is what happened to Jesse as a freshman in college. Do you think that changed her life? And Manon, a 63-year-old grandma, now in this picture, eating lots of things she shouldn't eat. Here she is after finishing the Seven Systems Plan. Later in the class, I'm going to give you a free hormone test, and I'm also going to show you a very powerful one-minute video that shows you how much you can transform your health if you do a few things. Let's start by talking about why most diet plans fail. If you look at how diet plans work, almost all of them work by creating a calorie deficit. Now, that can be helpful. But if that's the only thing you're doing, it's not going to be. In fact, we've got a study. This is the Women's Health Initiative trial. 5,000 women were followed. They were challenged to eat less and <coughs> exercise more. And they actually tracked their calories and tracked their exercise. And they did eat less and exercise more. And they continued to do that for nine years. Now, after nine years, would you expect some pretty amazing results? How about two pounds more than doing nothing? Diet and exercise are not the key for most people. Look at these uh, two mice. Same diet, same exercise. So clearly, we're missing something. That's why I tell people, it's not your fault that you have weight problems and health problems. You've been given some bad information, and we're going to give you the right information tonight. So what is the solution? There are now 800,000 different plans you can go on. Do you know that? And I wrote 800,001 <laughs> because most of these do not work. Your body has seven main systems. These systems control your weight, control your blood pressure, control your energy, so we need to have these systems working correctly. I want to just give you a brief overview of them. <clears throat> Four major systems. Your structural system, that's your frame. That's what gathers the food and eats the food. Your digestive system breaks that food down. Your delivery system delivers that food to the cells in your body. And inside the cells, your energy system turns that food into energy. Four main systems, if these are working right, chances are you're gonna have very good health. But you've also got three support systems. They're important too, but not quite as important. The communication system helps all of these systems to talk to each other. The defense system defends your body against outside invaders and bad things. And then your detox system cleans up the mess that all the systems make. It's that simple. So why do 99% of diet plans fail? 
because they at most usually focus on only two of these systems. What happens if you've got problems with the other five, as most people do? If you have angry fat cells, you're going to gain weight. If you've got the wrong bacteria in your digestive system, you'll gain weight. The wrong food and too much obviously will make you gain weight. If your metabolism is slow, you'll gain weight. If you've got hormone problems, it's going to be very difficult to lose weight. So you've got to fix hormones, and we do that. If you have chronic inflammation, as many people do, you're going to gain weight. And if you have toxins in your body called obesogens, as many people do, you'll gain weight. All of these things can make you gain weight and make it difficult for you to lose weight. So what is the solution? The solution is to get each of these seven systems working correctly. Now I will say, that's not just the solution to weight problems, that's also so the solution to high blood pressure problems, low energy problems, high blood sugar problems, and on and on. So here's the first thing, first key takeaway I want you to, to get. System malfunction is the cause of weight gain and many other health problems. In 2002, I went through functional medicine training, and it was extremely good training. It helps you evaluate and understand and fix these systems that aren't working correctly. And I did that for a few years, but I kind of got disenchanted because <clears throat> understanding and fixing these systems took a lot of time, and it was very complicated. You know how complicated it was? It was like this complicated. And also, it was very expensive for patients to do. You can work with a functional medicine doctor today to try to do what we do with the seven systems plan. And it's not unusual for it to cost you $17,000. Well, for most people, that's not reasonable. So my discovery about 15 years ago was there's really a simple way to evaluate each of these seven systems identify malfunction, and then optimize them using simple proven steps. The thing that really amazed me is it's not that hard to get each of these systems working correctly. This is uh, Mark and Pam. Mark was dieting and tracking his weight loss on a fitness app for one year, and in one year he lost five pounds. This is where he joined the seven systems plan. His weight went down rapidly. In fact, he hit his goal within a few months, 160 pounds. And he and his wife got off all of their medications, lost 100 pounds together. Even people that have significant obesity, morbid obesity, have results with a seven systems plan. Kevin lost 170 pounds. And his key to losing weight was discovering that he had a food addiction to one specific food, and getting rid of that triggered his success. Dustin and Sarah, look at that, 20 pounds, 10 pounds, that's their first week. You should lose weight rapidly when you have a lot of weight to lose. They lost 270 pounds and are maintaining their progress. So you might be thinking, all right, you lose weight fast, you're gonna regain it fast. Have you heard that before? That is a myth. If you look at clinical studies, the quicker you lose weight initially and the quicker you get to your goal weight, the more successful you are long term. I always like to mention a patient I could not help. This is Sheila. She came to see a class like this and knew she had diabetes, high cholesterol, weight problems, and hypertension. And after doing some testing on Sheila, I predicted a crisis. I said, Sheila, you're going to have a train wreck if you don't fix your systems because she had problems with so many systems. Unfortunately, Sheila didn't want to make any changes in what she was doing. And sure enough, she ended up with multiple system failure in a coma in the hospital for six weeks and almost died. Now she lived. But after she came out, she had twice the problems, twice the medications, insulin-dependent diabetes. But now she was willing to make some changes. And this is what happened to Sheila. 
So I say it's never too late to fix your systems. You just got to be willing to make some changes and you got to want to get healthy. <coughs> Second thing I want you to take away is the seven systems plan fixes all systems. You can go on lots of different plans, detox plans, hormone plans. The seven systems plan covers them all. 76% of all Americans are now overweight. And Candy was one of those people. She had problems with her structural system. Your structural system is made of bone and muscle and fat. And what do Americans have problems with? Bone, muscle, and fat. In fact, it's so bad in America that this uh, carving of David by Michelangelo done in uh, 1501 came to America to tour museums for three years. And after being in America for three years, we sent it back to Italy and they were not happy with what happened in America. So Candy joined the Seven Systems Plan and uh, <clears throat> first thing I like to teach people is the importance of your belly and belly fat. You don't want to have extra fat there. That is called lethal fat by me. That's a cross section of a healthy person. There's the liver, the intestines, your muscles, there's your spine, and that white is a little fat. That is a dying belly. When you get belly fat, you get the fat inside those organs, like the liver. That's fatty liver, and that's fatty heart. That increases your risk of dying tremendously. <clears throat> your fat cells are not supposed to be your enemy. They should be happy. My fat cells are happy. They behave. They don't suck up all the calories. And when I need energy, they give me energy. But if you keep growing and stuffing those fat cells, they now become angry fat. And angry fat drains your energy, increases bad hormones, makes you hungry and tired, and just having angry fat will make you gain more and more and more weight. So how do you get rid of angry fat? We've got a three-step process. The number one thing is lower insulin. Now I'm going to come back and talk about insulin a little later. But we also need to change when we eat. And when do we eat in America? All the time. Sun up to sundown and some people in the middle of the night. <coughs> Do you know that if you change the time you eat and the hours you eat, you can lose weight tremendously? Here's a study where they looked at people. They had the exact same calories, but they ate the calories at a different time of day. One group gained weight. The other group in a week lost two pounds. We teach you about that on the Seven Systems Plan, and we also teach you about fasting mimic diets. How many of you have heard of fasting mimic diets? <clears throat> there are three simple and very powerful <coughs> fasting mimic diets that we use because they help you lose weight a lot quicker and they help you maintain your progress a lot more. I use some of these fasting mimic diets routinely at my, uh, in just uh, the maintenance phase. So I help people change when they eat, how often they eat, how many hours they eat, and what they eat and what they eat is very significant. If you're not going to change what you eat, it's going to be very difficult for you to make progress and it's not that hard. <clears throat> so I looked at all of the most healthy diets in the world when I started the seven systems plan and here's a few of them, Mediterranean, whole food, plant-based and fasting and fasting mimic diets. And I combined the best of those to come up with a modified, modified Mediterranean whole food, mostly plant-based plan that uses fasting and fasting mimic diets. It sounds complicated, but it's really pretty simple. We give you a shopping list and we teach you how to get food from specific groups. There are 10 groups that are very powerful and ideally you get some from those group, groups in daily. And we also have a a few things that we want to stay away from, the red things. We don't want you eating those. <clears throat> Can you eat more to lose weight? What do you think? I yes. see heads going up and down. Yes, you can. 
If you're depriving yourself, you're going to fail. You should always have enough to eat, and you can make it very tasty. Lots of things that are good for you that you can eat, but you may need to switch some things. So we teach you about pasta replacements and potato replacements and refined grain replacements. And we give you menus and recipes with some very tasty things. We encourage you to have a few staple things in your refrigerators so that in a, a short period of time you can throw together a meal that is very tasty and covers a lot of the food groups. I don't deprive myself of tasty foods. My wife is an excellent cook and she puts together some wonderful meals. And nuts, how many of you could eat a small handful of nuts every day? Do you know that that will decrease all causes of mortality 20% just doing that one thing? And smoothies can be extremely healthy. We teach you how to do that. And we even have a way to make radishes look sexy. So, <coughs> My wife has uh, put together a group for people that go through the course called Teresa's Seven System Kitchen. And she has menus in there and recipes for you and a lot of things that she does. And uh, she has learned a lot over the years and she shares that with you. And we'll even teach you how to eat out. But if you're gonna eat out every day, I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna have problems. We just eat out too much in America. <coughs> so the Seven Systems Plan turns angry fat into happy fat. And this is what happened to Candy in uh, the course of a year. Now, one of the reasons she said she wanted to go through the Seven Systems Plan was that she wanted to be around for her grandkids. So this transformation happened 15 years ago. There she is at age 73, maintaining her progress and, and around for those grandkids. Mike had obesity and diabetes and got rid of it. Brandy, age 30, went through the Seven Systems Plan and at age 40, she looks younger than 30 and she feels younger. I always like to warn people, <coughs> You might have to buy some new clothes if you go through the Seven Systems Plan. I want to mention before we move on to the next system, the importance of the first meal of the day. If you're only going to fix one meal, have it correct. Make sure it's the first one because if you eat correctly, you will eat less the rest of the day, significantly less. In fact, if you eat incorrectly, you're likely to eat 81% more food the rest of the day. And I'll tell you, Americans eat a terrible, terrible first meal of the day. One of the things I'd like to use to speed up progress is a plant-based functional food shake. 98% of what I have you do is just eat real food. But these really help speed the weight loss up and also fix damaged systems. And there's a study at the University of California where they took pre-diabetic women and either put them on a modified Mediterranean food plan with the functional foods or just the modified Mediterranean food plan. So same calories, same exercise, and then they followed them, they did the lab work. And what did they see? significantly more progress when you add the functional food. Lower blood sugar, lower cholesterol. I see my patients lose weight twice as fast when they lose the functional food, and they also fix these systems that are causing the problem. You'll learn about that on the Seven Systems Plan. 90% of all disease comes from our next system. It is your digestive system. It's got seven main parts. <clears throat> Lucinda came in to see me for out of control diabetes type 1. She'd been to specialists, they could not get her blood sugar down, had to be on a tremendous amount of insulin. But when she came in, I noticed all of the digestive problems that she had. And when you have digestive problems, I like to fix that system first. Your gut microbiome, that is your gut bacteria is tremendously important. You've been hearing stuff about probiotics and how important they are. They determine to a significant degree what you eat, 
when you eat and how much you eat. Unfortunately, you can either have good or bad bacteria in your digestive system. The good ones turn off hunger. That's a good thing. Would you like to have bacteria down there that are turning off hunger? They decrease inflammation and they signal your brain to eat food that feeds them and that's healthy food, good food. So you get good food cravings. What do the bad guys do? They do just the opposite. They turn on hunger, they increase inflammation, and they want food that feeds them, so they give you cravings for junk food. We know that if you go on antibiotics for one week, you have wiped out all three pounds of bacteria in your digestive system. And how long do you think it takes that bacteria to come back? Weeks? Months? Years. Two years, in fact for that to come back. Now there's things you can do to speed that up and you should do that. <clears throat> we also know that medications, steroids, antacid medication, diabetic medication, high blood pressure medication also kill the, the gut bacteria. So we need to try to get you so you don't need those things. And if you've ever used one of those little yellow packets, guess what? You just wiped out half of your gut bacteria. If you drink diet pop, you have no good gut bacteria. And that's why those things tend to make you gain weight. Here's a study where they took two mice. They put bad bacteria in one, good bacteria in the other. That's it. Everything else is the same. And you know what it did to their weight? That's the difference this can be. This is a huge factor in the obesity epidemic in America. Now, there was a six-month human study on a specific type of probiotic. There are hundreds of different types, but one type in a six-month study on humans made them less hungry. They ate less, 300 calories less per day. That's significant. Lost an inch off their waist and improved their gut health. You'll learn about the uh, specific probiotics on the Seven Systems Plan. So back to Lucinda. In uh, one year, her and Monty lost 220 pounds, fixed her digestive system, and her type 1 diabetes went from out of control to very well controlled on two-thirds less insulin. Medi Larry went through the program to support his wife and ended up losing 50 pounds and getting off all 10 of his medications. I love helping people get off medications. And I don't take people off them. I get you healthy, and then you go back to your doctor, and he will take you off them. <clears throat> the number one killer in America and weight problems, it is your heart and delivery system. So we've digested the food. Now it has to get delivered to the cells through your blood vessels. And if you're eating the wrong food, you're going to damage your blood vessels, as Roy did. Now, this was actually 1990 that Roy came to see me. Obese, blocked heart artery confirmed on angiogram, high bad cholesterol uh, and a low good cholesterol. He's got angina. He's taking uh, nitroglycerin because of the pain and he, he can't walk a block. He need, he's needing a bypass. He's refusing to do this. He's out of shape. He's got a terrible diet. So <clears throat> I started working with Roy and uh, here's what we know. LDL cholesterol, now that's called the bad cholesterol. It's not totally bad, but when it's high, it's bad. We know that there is a <clears throat> growing amount of evidence that states that in, in states of insulin resistance and inflammation, I, I'll tell you right now, if you got obesity, you have insulin resistance and you have inflammation. When you have those things, these LDL particles, LDL cholesterol, and the artery wall get coated in molecular Velcro. So they both get too sticky. So you're overweight, you got insulin resistance and inflammation, there's your blood vessel. Things are coming along and they get stuck on that sticky blood vessel. And the LDL specifically get stuck and it causes plaque or blockage or stiff arteries so your blood pressure starts going up. 
So we got to stop that damage. We've got to decrease insulin, decrease inflammation. But we also need to increase the good cholesterol, HDL. HDL acts like a garbage truck. It comes in and picks up that plaque and takes it to the liver. Now in 1990, there weren't studies showing that this could be reversed in people. <clears throat> but Roy kept working on it, lost all the weight, got fit, no more chest pain, and in nine months from starting working with me, he goes from not being able to walk a block to elk hunting in Colorado in the mountains, hiking with his grandson for a week and doing great. But when he got back, his cardiologist said, Roy, we need to redo your angiogram. You're going to die. And guess what they found? The blood vessel had opened up. Now, in 1990, this was unheard of. Two years later, they start doing imaging studies that show these changes begin to happen in three weeks when you follow a plan like the Seven Systems Plan. And this is me and Roy 28 years after that happened. So we help lots of people with cholesterol problems and blood pressure problems. <clears throat> and there are a few key vitamins. And I like to mention one vitamin that I think everybody should be tested for and be on. And it's a vitamin that lowers breast cancer risk, colorectal cancer risk, and cancer in general tremendously. And class, do you know what that vitamin is? Very good. My class does. That's vitamin D. And most Americans are significantly low. I want your vitamin D to be 70. And most people that we test are in the teens or 20s, which sets you up for all kinds of diseases. You'll learn about vitamins and the key ones that are very important in the Seven Systems Plan course. Let's talk about energy. We've now delivered the food to the cells in your body. And inside the cells of your body, you have something called mitochondria. Think of them as little factories that crank out energy. They're very powerful. They are 10,000 times more powerful pound for pound than the sun. But they're also kind of fragile. And you can kill off or damage these mitochondria. And by age 40, there's a very good chance you have lost half your mitochondria. Now, I'm 67. I still have lots of mitochondria. I can work a 10-hour day and play tennis for an hour and a half over my lunch hour and still be great because my mitochondria are working correctly, and they should. Any of you remember this TV show, Dukes of Hazard? What's the names? Bo and Luke. Yeah, lots of energy, right? Well, how about Uncle Jesse? Age 60, not so much. It doesn't have to be like that. Alice came to see me with low energy, obese, no energy, slept a lot. She's on eight prescriptions. She just wants to feel good again. We evaluated her, and she had depleted her mitochondria. And one of the things she did that was killing her mitochondria was late night eating. You don't want to do that. We put her on the seven systems plan and corrected everything. <coughs> she got better and better and better. And I sent her back to her medical doctor, and he took her off all eight of her prescriptions, and she was a ball of energy. Kevin was always the team manager for sports teams. The next year, he was running cross country. If you can't lose weight, pay attention here, you most likely have a hormone problem. <clears throat> So this is where the communication system comes in. It is made of hormones, nerves, and neurotransmitters. And we go through this so you understand them, and it's not that difficult. There's a few key hormones that you have to have working right if you want to lose weight. And Jody, a school teacher, came to see me. Obese, food cravings, poor diet, no energy, stressed. And six months before seeing me, she went to her doctor, and her doctor said, Jody, you're obese, lose weight. Diet and exercise for six months, and what happened? Nothing. Started the seven systems plan, and we got significant results. One of the things that you need to know is that insulin, which is produced in the pancreas, is your fat storage hormone. The higher your insulin is, the more fat you're going to store. 
And also, the higher your insulin is, the more likely you're going to have heart disease, hypertension, stroke, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. So we don't want high insulin. The study that I'm referring to looked at people for 11 years and found that people with low levels of insulin had no disease. You want to avoid these main killers in America? Keep your insulin down. My insulin is low. <clears throat> It also, if you have low insulin, is very unlikely that you will have weight problems. So it's a major benefit. So Jody's insulin was three times higher than normal, 17 on a blood test. It should never be more than five. We want to get you less than five. That's ideal. So you can have a blood test to check your fasting insulin. But if you want to check your insulin right now, I'm going to show you a way to do that. And what is that way? You make a C, everyone like this, make a C. And you tip that over like this, and you pinch right here. <laughs> it's called the pinch test. If you've got much fat around the belly, very likely you have high insulin. And here's what the studies show. The release of fat <coughs> from fat cells is inhibited by insulin. So, you can put fat into a fat cell. You just can't take it out when your insulin's high. So we need to get insulin down. And we knock insulin down very quickly. Here's uh, Jody, six months later, <coughs> 65 pounds off and fit. Now I want to tell you a little background. School teacher, she said, I came home from teaching school when I was like this. I'd sit down to grade <coughs> papers and I would doze off. Here she said, I'm taking kickboxing classes after school. That's what happened to her energy. Dan, obesity and diabetes. I see guys like this and I say, you're not going to have a fun retirement. <coughs> Fix your systems. And guess what? He did. And he's going to have a fun retirement. Sharon, diabetes and uh, obesity. And they're gone. I want to talk about chronic inflammation. Now, how do you know if you got inflammation? If you got joint pain, if you got swelling, redness in the joints, you probably have some inflammation. And that is most likely caused by problems in your defense system. So you've heard of tonsils, lymph nodes, bone marrow, but most people, in fact a lot of doctors, have never heard of gut lymph tissue. And look at my diagram here. 70% of your defense system is in your gut. Here's an actual picture. Here's your intestinal tract. There's that gut lymph tissue. Now here's what I want you to get. If you got problems with your intestine, if you got leaky gut, you're going to be doing bad things to your defense system. You're going to be triggering it when it shouldn't be. And that's what happened to Patty. Now Patty actually had a friend in class right here who <coughs> she was talking to and the person in my class says, Patty, you need to call Dr. Pat because she's been diagnosed with uh, rheumatoid arthritis by a rheumatologist in Atlanta. She has it so bad she can't wear shoes and she can't use her computer mouse. And she's an accountant, so she's afraid she's going to get fired. So she asked her rheumatologist, if I change my lifestyle, will that help? And what did he say? No. You got to take this drug and be on this drug for how long? Ever. The rest of your life. She looks up the side effects of that drug and says, I don't want to do that. So then she did contact me and we started by fixing her gut. This is a intestinal tract. There's the cells and there's a gap or a leak here <coughs> that lets undigested food and bacteria get into your bloodstream and that triggers your gut lymph tissue to send out signals that start attacking your own body. Autoimmune disease, have you heard of that? Rheumatoid, Hashimoto, celiacs, fibromyalgia, type 1 diabetes, psoriasis, and on and on. There are many different autoimmune disease and most of them have their root in the digestive system. So we have to heal the gut and it's not that hard to do get rid of those leaks and when we do that food has to get broken down before it gets absorbed and the bad bacteria that's out here are kept there out there and the <coughs> gut lymph tissue calms down and guess what those attack signals get turned off. 
So Patty keeps working on the program, and in six months I hear back from her. She says, Dr. Pat, all signs of rheumatoid are gone. She's not only wearing shoes, she's jogging in those shoes, and she has lost 65 pounds. This is John. He, uh, <clears throat> I've never met John. He just did our online course, but he had rheumatoid so bad he couldn't button his shirt in this picture. The next year, he's lost 70 pounds and he has great grip strength. When I started helping people with autoimmune disease, I knew your body can do amazing things if you just give it what it needs. Marla was my worst fibromyalgia patient ever. Now this is an autoimmune disease where your, your body attacks your muscles. And she had it so bad, that's how she shopped in the cart. <clears throat> in three months, the pain was gone. 20 years of pain was gone. And there she is graduating, down 65 pounds, and she has continued to maintain her progress. Kurt had uh, severe migraines. In fact, he was missing so much work, he was afraid he was going to get fired. Migraines can have an inflammatory component. In 90 days, migraines that he had for years were gone and have been gone uh, for years now. Last thing I want to talk about is toxins and weight problems, and that's where your defense system comes in. This system has five main organs. These organs help defend your body against all kinds of toxins and get them out. So Nancy came in to see me with kind of some bizarre symptoms. She's got tingling in her hands and feet. I mean bad tingling. She has pain everywhere. Now that's uh, not normal. She can't walk to the bathroom in the morning without help. She's got brain fog. And while she's talking to me, I'm thinking, you got a detox system problem. You're, to you're toxic. She's been to specialists who have diagnosed her with Lyme's, RA, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, all kinds of treatments, and she's just getting worse every day. In fact, she told me, Dr. Pat, I'm afraid I'm going to end up with in a nursing home at age 60 because I can't take care of myself. <clears throat> Here's what we know about toxins. Five of the worst toxins there are are present in every one of you. Five of the worst ones are. And those toxins can have significant problems. What kind of problems? You name it. But obesity is one of the problems that those toxins can cause. Here's an animal study. Everything's the same. Diet and exercise, but you put toxins in one mouse and look what happens. I want you to not take lightly being exposed to toxins. We need to decrease our exposure, but we also need to support those organs that help get the toxins out of the body. Here's the way I look at it. If you have a sick fish in a dirty tank, do you medicate the fish? No. What do you do? Clean the tank, and that's what we do. We want to clean the tank in the body, get the toxins out by supporting those five detox organs, and that's what I did. I put Nancy on a program to support each of those five organs, and here's is what I also did. I said, Nancy, you're going to feel better in 10 days. Now, she was insulted because she'd been to specialists. They couldn't help her, and I'm going to make her feel better in 10 days, but she did it anyway. And day seven, she emails me, Dr. Pat, I'm 70% better. I can walk to the bathroom myself. The pain is down. Day 10. She goes back to work after being off work for two months, 90% improved. She only needed to lose 25 pounds, but she knocked the weight off and has been pain-free for many years now. <clears throat> Steve had fatty liver enzymes eight <coughs> times higher than normal. Now, that's the worst I've ever seen. That means you're going to need a liver transplant if this keeps going. And in six months, guess what? His liver's functioning perfectly. So let me wrap it up by giving you the big picture here. If you have three plants that are dying and you give one sunlight, one water, and one plant food, will any of them live? No. What if you give all three things to one plant? Yes, then it will live. So now do you kind of see how you need to fix each of the seven systems, get each of them working correctly to lose weight and have ideal health? 
<laughs> Your last takeaway, here it is. You can lose weight and have optimal health by fixing your seven systems. You can do that. We've helped lots of people do that. So the keys to the best weight loss plan anywhere are all in the seven systems plan. It is clinically proven. The education that you get is better than any other program anywhere in the world. You will know more than most doctors know. We provide accountability to help you get to your goals. We'll teach you about functional food and a few key supplements. You're not going to take a whole bunch of things, but a few things are very helpful. You'll learn about fasting mimic diets. They're really not hard to incorporate, and they are very powerful. We also find what works for you. What works for one person will not work for another, but we give you so many options, it's not that hard to find what you need to do. And then testing. So some tests are helpful. And I'll, I'll tell you, as you go through the course, there's surveys for every system, so you'll know, hey, I've got a problem with this survey, I better pay attention to it. I also, in the course, almost every week, will teach you a free at-home test that you can do. Now, most of these are free or inexpensive, and we give you other options if you want to dive into that deeper. So the Seven Systems Plan gives you training on all of these systems and how to get them working correctly. And that would be tremendous if you just had that, but I give you everything I have to get you to your health goals. We give you the Maximizing Toolbox. You want to know if you have food addictions? You'll know after you go through that lesson. You want to know where your testosterone is, male men? Uh, we'll give you a survey to figure that out. We help you with goal setting, food journaling, and lots of other helpful tools. And in addition to the lessons, we give you lots of bonus lessons. We have a whole lesson on your gut microbiome. It is that important. One on fasting, mimic diets, food addictions. We help you assemble a success team. We talk about the most important vitamins and minerals. We have a lesson on spicing up your love life, making you superhuman, helping you get to your ideal weight and stay there for good, and even more. <clears throat> The third bonus that you get is uh, access to our private Facebook community. Now, this is only for people to go through the course, and we have lots and lots of people there. If you have a problem or a question or you need something, if you put it up there, you usually have an answer within minutes. You get a, a downloadable workbook, so you can download my workbook. I want you to fill in a few blanks as we go through the talks. And we also have teamed up with a pharmaceutical grade supplement company. Don't spend money on worthless vitamins. It is one of the biggest ripoffs in life. This company is a great one and they work with the seven systems plan providers so that you get a great price too. And something new, something I have never done before for people and that is I'm going to give you access to Zoom in every week for my live meetings. I've got a whole room full of people here. You can join us on Zoom if you can't come live. And we also have provider offices in 12 states now that are offering the Seven Systems Plan. And if you're near one of those offices, you should hook up with them. <clears throat> the total value of everything that we have in the Seven Systems Plan is over ten thousand dollars but you're not going to pay ten thousand dollars you're going to pay a lot less and you're also going to save money how are you going to save money medications now some of you that are on medications know how spendy they get some of these hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month we're going to help you get so you don't need them hopefully we we'll, we'll do our best and in most cases we can and also uh, you're going to save money on future health care problems. If you have cancer, if you have a stroke, it can cost you over a hundred thousand dollars and a lot of times those things are preventable. And you're also going to save money by not eating this stuff. That can cost you ten dollars today, a fast food meal. That will pay for the whole course if you just cut that out and you should not be eating that. I want to show you a little short video. Now this is not my video, not my patient, but it very accurately describes what your life can be like if you go through the seven systems plan as opposed to doing what the average American does. Now this is the same person in both videos, but you see the different paths that he can take.
What will your last 10 years look like? Will you be quick enough for a game of tag with your grandchild? Strong enough to embrace every moment? Will you grow old with vitality? Or get old with disease? It's time to decide. The average Canadian will spend their last 10 years in sickness. The average American will spend more than their last 10 years in sickness. In fact, 88% of Americans are not metabolically healthy. My last 10 years are gonna be great because I'm gonna keep my systems working correctly and I want you to do that as well. So I want you to think about yourself right now. Think about you. What would your life be like at your ideal weight for good? Digestive system working for you. Cholesterol, blood pressure, and heart healthy. 600% more energy. Hormones optimized. Immune system protecting you. Toxins eliminated and not needing medications. That's ideal and that's what I want for you. There's always someone who says, I'm going to think about this. So I want to show you what happens. This is the 90-day think about doing a diet. That's what happens. Absolutely nothing. You need to take action, and I want to encourage you to take action now. This Wayne. He uh, came to check out the class, jumped into the class, and in, with the Seven Systems Plan in six months, lost 65 pounds, got off all of his medications. Here's Christy, a graduate, and we do have a graduation deal for you people that uh, graduate. And we've even now got a private Facebook page just for our graduates. <clears throat> Julie, another online uh, member, transformed her health tremendously. Amy lost 100 pounds in eight months. To get access, what I want you to do is if you are with a provider, I want you to join with them and they'll give you the access to the course. If you don't have a provider, you can use the link below this video to join. And you'll get, again, you'll get the seven systems plan course lessons, the six bonus lessons, including the newest one, which is me letting you into my live meeting room. And also twice a month, I'm gonna stay on after class and have a group discussion with you. So to begin your journey, just create an account with the link and jump in and get started. Remember the question answer with me, or if you have a practitioner, they will provide that service. Let me answer just a few questions that typically come in and we will be done. Does this take a lot of time? I tell my, my members, I want you to devote an hour a week to this. And if you do that and plug in the things you learn each week, you'll get there in no time. What kind of support do I have? We help you develop a support team. Whether you're online or with a provider, we'll teach you how to do that. And we also have the private Facebook group that can help you with support. What if I failed other plans? Then you are my ideal candidate. <clears throat> we have lots of people that have tried everything. Candy, before she went through the plan, vowed she would never spend another penny on a diet plan again because she'd failed everything. Well, guess what? The plan she used, the seven system plan, made her have success, and it was the last plan that she needed. I always tell people, you need two things. You gotta one, lose weight or get healthy, and you have to be willing to make a few changes. So what kind of changes? That small handful of nuts every day, that's easy. Could you eat an apple every day? All right, that's a small change, but tremendous improvement. I had a <coughs> lady go through the class, Heidi, who uh, ate one vegetable, could not eat another vegetable. And that vegetable was green beans. And I said, well, we gotta try to improve this. Well, within a few weeks, she was up to five different vegetables and she was down 20 pounds. <coughs> what will you learn? Uh, I'll tell you, you will learn 
uh, everything. I, uh, I think the educational component of this is what makes it so successful. If you know what to do and why you should do it, it makes it so much easier to continue to make these, these uh, changes. I want to thank you very much for joining me here live and online. And I want to ask a favor too, if you're jumping into the seven systems plan and as you're having success, join our, our private Facebook group. You'll have instructions on how to do that. And I really love to hear these stories coming back of your success. That's my passion. I love to see these stories. I want to help someone create an ama another amazing health transformation. And I hope we can do it for you. Thank you.